All right, what does this man want? Hello. Help him start the Oregon Trail. Moving west. Trust me, it ain't all that great. I'm a little man in a bag. Ah, <sighs> what's with this, like, dark kind of, like, This pilgrim is headed west, but what is... What is their profession? Provide an object to make the pilgrim a farmer, a carpenter, or a banker. Hmm. Now, who would want to flee west? Uh, a criminal. Wow, what is with this awesome guitar riff in the background? Wow, this is like more music that I would have expected at like the haunted house thing. This is awesome. Um, uh, banker. What is, let's 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 just give him a pen. You're a banker now. You're black now. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, but still kind of confusing. My ox died of typhoid. Create an animal to replace it. Um. Little poodle. Here you go. That'll do. That'll get you to the way. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm running low on food, and I don't know how to catch animals. Create someone who can teach me. What, the poodle can't freaking catch? What, is, what, did the poodle eat all of your uh, supplies? Uh... Oh my gosh, it's uh, Johnny Bravo again. He owns your shit now. No, I, I know you want to own his uh, wagon and all that. Hello? Okay, uh, the guide. Ooh, that's a very Lewis and Clark looking, uh, thingy. Helpful guide? Hmm. Uh, animal killer. Animalistic killer. Ooh, he's a hard man. Look at that. Yeah, I'll help you kill him. Wow, he knows a lot of math problems. Oh my god, that turkey exploded into already cooked meat. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Why? This is like, is this Mortal Kombat where when you kill something, it blows up into like 15 rib cages? I've made it to the end of the trail. Now create a homestead for me to live in. What the fuck? I'm going to create a whole homestead for you. Welcome to the West. No, don't take me in there too, with you. Welcome to the West. It's not all that great and it's very hot. And uh, there's a lot of people trying to kill you because, like, Aztecs. Look at him. He's like, oh, shit. I should have just stayed back with my buffalo and my lack of pigmentation. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is the best game in the world. I love you, Carpenter. Love. What is love? Don't hurt me, Maxwell. Don't hurt me. Uh... Give me that. Perfect. He's trying to bite me. Moving west completed. I, I feel like that was a, a good day. Level completed. Good job. Let's go to Lily and see how her petrification is doing. How's it going? Here's some more stuff. Yeah. There's a demonic one for you. Oh my gosh. Is that what Maxwell sounds like? Oh no. It's Santa in his time-traveling train, running away from, uh, communist Stalin Jack Frost. Oh, cool. A whole new area's opened up, but I haven't even gone to that prison! This is amazing. Okay, um... Let's see, we have- oh, I haven't- Oh, that's right, I didn't do the, uh, the meta shit because, um... This guy was like, pay attention to me, and I was like, I'm an armless, headless, uh, man of all kinds. Help the scout earn his merit badge. Oh yeah, this unimportant bullshit. Let's go. The merit badge, just one. He, you have to earn like 50 of the damn things. Hey, ooh, we get to uh, do CPR on burning crash test dummies and beat up nerds. Help the scout earn his merit badge. First, give him a tool to carve this log. Gotcha. And by the way, I just I would like to say that I have not been uh, using any suggestions um, for this whole recording session, I have not, uh, I don't have a list here of anything. This has all just been my imagination for today. Um, and still feel free to, uh, make suggestions, but I felt that, uh, for this instance, I should just kind of go, because I was feeling in the recording mood, 
And uh, when that happens, I feel like I should just go with the flow rather than trying to take a pause to look over and be like, mm, which one do I think is kind of better, whatever, where can this fit in? You know, I just felt like going. So here we go. Carve it up. Oh my god. That's amazing. How did you die it? Fire safety is next. Give the scout something to put the dummy out. Ooh, I got you. I got you. Put it out. <laughs> I can't believe I can do that. Um. Damn. Ooh. Oh. Oh. At, at first I was like, yeah, but then then I was like, no. Come on, put it out. Ow. You're, you're killing me, man. Where's my mask? Whew. Oh, I can't. I can't put on my scout mask and my mask. This isn't real life at all. I mean, yeah. That's fun, though. Fine. You didn't see nothing. You ain't me. Give me that. Don't hate me because you ain't me. Fuck you. Um, this is a really impressive totem pole. Dang. Anyway, how many of you have actually seen totem poles in real life? I did one time. It was a hilarious story where the... Uh, the guy had, like, been commissioned to make a totem pole. Oh, my God, I can actually jump on here. The guy had been commissioned to make a totem pole for the city, and the city built it, but then they buried it, like, up to, like... Because I guess uh, totem poles can have a certain amount of rings at the bottom, and that signifies, like, different uh, stuff. I forget. I used to know what that would signify, but I don't now. Like, from the base upwards for, like, every two feet, it would have, like, um, rings on it. And the city thought, oh, well, that's just there, you know, to show how deep we need to bury it. So they buried the totem pole up to the rings in concrete. And the artist came back and was like, what the fuck did you people do? That's not, it. no, you're supposed to just put it up. You know, it's not just the faces. There's these, like, big rings at the bottom that, like, signify something. So they actually had to dig it out of the concrete and uh, just place it up in the... Uh, in the city because these people got mad they're like why would you do this we didn't ask you to like bury it in fucking concrete and everybody looked like a dummy and now when you look at it it's got all this like concrete marking on the rings and it was really embarrassing for the city to do what dumbasses anyway hello fish lips what do you want bottle of water giant salty bottled unopenable Ooh. Ooh. It's boiled. Now that the fire's out, give something to fix the dummy's wounds. I've given you fish lips. What do you want? Healing kiss. Healing kid. Uh, animal. There, have a goat. Oh, good. What does this guy have? Like a big gear in his head? Time for target shooting. Start by giving the scout the safety proper equipment. Gotcha. One of the most important safety equipments you'll need when shooting arrows is here. Oh, God. I just realized that isn't, uh, that is sadly not an arrow to the knee joke. I legitimately thought of, like, the most useless thing that you could use in arrow practice. Uh... God, I'm disgusted with myself now. Has the arrow to the knee meme gotten into our collective conscious so much that... Oh. Never mind. I hope not. There. Oh my god, the lips fell perfectly on his head. Now it's time for target practice. Give the... <laughs> oh my gosh, the lips are alive. I'll wear those. Kiss me, you fool. Kiss me. Here. Burn! Boiling hot water! Um... Target practice, target practice. Paint gun? Stop writing paint fun, you stupid fuck! Yay, paint those asses. What is this? Danger- ooh! Oh my god! Mm. You missed! You missed! Why did you miss? Why were you given the sheriff's badge? Boy, I'm glad that he's over there and that I'm over here and that he's the sheriff in danger. I think I already made that joke. Ah, hit the microphone again. Danger, damage, dangerous. Uh, 
I don't know what damask is. Denim. I get denim. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Cool. North Korea will not want this starite. I'll take it. Somebody has to give it a home. The merit badge! Huzzah! We've gotten quite a bit of starites in this recording session. I am very proud of us. Well, I say us. Collectively, I really mean me. Because, I mean, I'm the best. What is that penguin doing flying? 